This is Intro to Final Cut Pro for HDSLR still photographers, okay? The whole class will be geared from a still photographer's um, perspective. Okay, let me get something up here. I uh, ran into something cool the last couple of days, and it's a little program called Animoto, and I was trying to build something in Final Cut, and it was just really uh, complicated. And a friend of mine, Gary Halpern, uh, the publisher of Photo Media Magazine, turned me on to this program. So I'll let this run so you don't have to look at me while you listen to me, because you'll be watching me, enough of me later on. So let's get this going. And... Okay. Like Craig said, my name is Rick Kasnoff. Uh, I've been a photographer all of my life. Sold my first picture when I was 13 uh, to a local small town newspaper. Got a brief touch uh, with the uh, fame and notoriety when everybody knew that I, I was a photographer all of a sudden. And I've really never looked back. I've been a photographer ever since. Went to college as a photojournalism major, photographer in the army, back to college at Brooks Institute. Um, with a dual major in portraiture and advertising. Served uh, many years in Los Angeles as a music and entertainment industry photographer doing uh, tours, uh, portraits, live shows. Eventually my work branched out to encompass my passions, travel and the environment, the natural world. Uh, along the way I became certified as a trainer in most of the photo related apps uh, so I could add value to the photo safaris I lead. I made them learning saf photo safaris. While all this was going on, I became heavily involved in the business end of the photo industry. I've been senior director of education for a number of companies and uh, a member of most of the professional organizations uh, for photographers. Uh, I was co-founder with Greg and our new member, Patrick, over here, of the local chapter of the APA, um, the Advertising Photographers of America, and currently serve as the national vice president of the latest incarnation, the American Photographic Artists. Okay. In the mid-90s, um, I first started toying with adding video to my skill set. Um, Turned out that the equipment and the software and everything while just getting started was still too expensive, too, still too cumbersome, and still too distracting from my still work, my main source of revenue. So I put it down and in the early 2000s, I picked it up again. Only this time I added video to my underwater work. I was doing a lot of underwater still work. Um, still pretty expensive, still pretty cumbersome but I was able to churn out a number of uh, destination videos that really kind of stoked the fire and kept my interest going. So I kept an eye on the industry. In the last couple of years, the state of the industry and technology and hardware and everything um, has reached a point where I'm really comfortable with the quality of images. I'm, I'm able to produce images now that closely resemble the still images I produce. And this is, you know, a godsend for me. I can invest a couple of thousand dollars. As a matter of fact, I could probably get four of those uh, video capable cameras for the cost of one of my D3s. And uh, I've found in the last six, eight months that it is an opportunity for me to add another income stream and yet another excuse for me to buy more to tools. Um, Got to watch that, my wife might, may be watching. Uh, you really so life as a photographer is exciting again. Greg, if you tell her, I'm gonna get you. Okay. Let's, uh, let's talk about the class, enough about me. Um, I wanna make sure our expectations are all um, in line. We've talked about this a little bit um, before class, but this class is for still photographers who are brand new to editing in Final Cut Pro. It's a basic introductory class designed to get you up and running and give you a good foundation to learn more, okay? Now, here's my disclaimer, and I want you to you know, really pay attention to this. While I'm gonna do my best to teach you the basics of how to function in Final Cut Pro, I can't teach you to be a quote-unquote editor 
in six hours, okay? Number one, that takes years of training, study, practice, and talent and a touch that's not easy to come by. I know a lot of editors and believe me, they've poured their lives into it. Number two, I'm not an, a quote unquote editor myself. I'm a trainer. I use Final Cut quite a bit in my business. Um, at heart, I'm still a still photographer, okay? I'm comfortable with the technology. I have a passing familiarity with pacing and storytelling, but basically I use it as a tool to add additional income streams to my business, okay? So that should align with, I understand most of you are still photographers too, um, and for whatever reason, you're starting to shoot with these uh, DSLRs. Well, let me get this off the screen and get you back to looking here. So this class is for you. It's been designed that way. It's designed to give you the basic day-to-day -day nuts and bolts skills to function in Final Cut Pro and give you a good enough idea and set you up well enough where you'll be able to function and produce some things. Okay. Remember to thank you for taking the time to drop by and congratulate you for taking the time out of your life to invest in your career or your passion or wherever you want to do. I know a lot of you took time off work today and a lot of you are playing hooky right now. So um, thanks. Let's get started. Let me get... Now you're going to see some PowerPoint stuff here and I don't like PowerPoint either, but there's a lot of information I want to get across to you and this is the best way for me to do it to make sure that I don't miss any little things. And the cool thing is the, um, Celeste told me she's going to provide an area for downloads of this PowerPoint so you can take these docs. So if you miss something, don't worry about it. I'd rather you listen than try and make a lot of notes. Okay? Let's get this working. Let's talk about what we're going to do over the class. Uh, it's five sessions. Last time I checked, this is class one? Okay. Um, today is all about getting ready to learn. We're going to talk about setting up the systems and drives. We're going to talk about the images and footage and how you two can create that and follow along with class. We'll take a look at some gear here and I've got a few nice little surprises for you. Then we'll talk about importing, um, exporting from your camera to your field system, um, importing from your field system into your studio systems, how my system is laid out. We'll talk about folders and naming and everything else like that. And then we'll finish up with our first look at a part of Final Cut Pro, and that's an introduction to compressor. Now we'll be doing transcoding. I'll show you a quick and dirty way to do it with QuickTime, and then I'll show you the right way to do it with um, compressor. Next week, We'll continue on with building the basics and a foundation. We'll see, hopefully, everybody will have their folders set up, their files, their media drives and things, and we'll start working from there. We'll op open up Final Cut Pro. We'll do a tool tour, but actually we'll learn more about the tools and the files and the structures, the panes and everything as we work with them. We'll be working on a couple of projects we'll talk about here in a second. We're going to do some basic color correction and sound. Um, I deliberately underexposed uh, our first lesson and recorded it in a living room with a high noise floor, a nice little traffic hum outside. So we all know that reality bites every once in a while. And what happens if you get your folder files in? You've got to do some basic color correction, some sound correction, so you can stand looking at them for the six, 10, eight, you know, 20 hours it's going to take you to edit that project. And then you can go into sweetening everything and doing that. So we'll hit that right up front. Class three, building the projects. We'll already have a couple of projects or sequences, you'll learn to call them, in the timeline. So now we'll start talking about transitions. Um, we've got some funny basic projects. We have an actress and an, um, an Olympic athlete that you'll enjoy meeting. But we'll look into filters, we'll look at effects uh, like speed changes, slowing and speeding up things. We'll look at uh, the third party plugins available. Um, a friend of mine, Patrick Sheffield, has supplied some plugins for us to look at, Electronic Makeup Artist and Mr. Fixit. We'll look at those in particular, look how to install them, how to use them. Um, 
We'll look at stills and stills with motion, you know, the good old Ken Burns effect, the pan and scans. And then we'll look at adding basic titles and text. The cool thing about Final Cut is you can do just about everything within the program. The bad thing about Final Cut is that you can do just about everything within the program. It is Final Cut Studio for a reason, you know, the color and everything else that's on the end. We'll get to those, but we will look at how, if you don't have Studio, you can do everything within Express or within um, Final Cut itself. Class four. Now, I can already tell I've got a real smart class. Okay, every one of you is just really on top of, especially a couple of guys over here. Um, so we're gonna jump ahead a little bit and talk about multicam, okay? Here's a chance to get together with a buddy or, you know, great excuse to buy another camera or two. And we'll work on some multicam technique, okay? We'll also work it with dual system sound at the same time. And I'll introduce you to a couple of really cool programs called Dualize and Pluralize. Um, save my butt all the time. Can I say butt? You can say butt. Okay. You can say butt. Butt is safe. Oh, butt's okay, but the other one, no. Okay. no. And actually, while I have you here, I, I, there's a bunch of people asking um, right off the bat if Final Cut Express will be applicable enough in this class. Yeah. Well. We're going to keep, that's what I was just trying to explain. Um, Final Cut Pro itself is, is pretty good size, but Final Cut Express is not that much less of a program. Excellent. You've just made the internet very happy. Okay and made Apple very sad, the difference in, never mind. Okay, um, then we'll go to laying down soundtracks, adding you know, third-party music, underscores, things like that. And we'll, we'll talk about keyframing sound. You don't have to just squash it all. We'll talk about to, how to raise and lower. Very easy stuff, all done within Final Cut. Whew, this is an intro class, right? Okay. Um, class five, we'll talk about what's called sweetening. I'm gonna take you out and we're gonna do a little tour to the other parts of Final Cut Studio. Now, as a photographer, I probably had the best reaction to color out of all the extra programs. I, I was certified in motion in DVD Studio Pro years ago, but when I was exposed to color, all of a sudden I was in heaven. All of a sudden I had control, I had uh, mass that would track. I had granular, I had primary and secondary color corrections. I had styles I could apply. It was almost like having Lightroom and Photoshop again, close, but you know, it gave me a lot more granular control. So I want to take you out. We'll spend 10 or 15 minutes in each one of these programs um, on the last week, and we'll take the projects we've done and show you how what looked okay can look and sound really cool. Um, but those are adventures all on their own. We'll do a wrap up, look at stuff, and then we'll do something called a drawing. Okay. One of the, the fun parts about teaching is I'm able to go to different photo equipment manufacturers and software manufacturers and uh, say, hey, look, I'm going to be talking to a bunch of people. How'd you like me to, uh, you know, well, I don't do this indiscriminately. I do it to the people whose gear I use already and they know I've got a big mouth, so. This class is being, has been sponsored by a number of different companies with gear. So I have got some outrageous giveaways for you. Think Tank, thank you, Bruce, um, gave us a complete wired media kit. Switchblade, um, I don't know if you, I'll show you these things in a, little, in a little bit, but these are collapsible flags and stuff, portable flags. Outrageous. I mean, they're really great. John Ehler has donated a double kit with four frames and everything. Um, SIR Marketing, uh, who handles uh, X-Rite, has donated a passport color checker, one of my most valuable tools. Uh, like I said, Sheffield Softworks has donated a license for an electro make electronic makeup artist, um, which is really a cool plug-in. And Rebecca from Animoto, um, the people who gave me the software to try out on that opening. That was really funny because I told them I was up under the gun. I, was, I wanted an opening. I didn't want just a regular blah, blah, slideshow. So um, <laughs> Steve Rosenbaum uh, sent me a license for it. And I just grabbed 300 photos and a half a dozen 10 second clips and threw them in there. Literally just threw them in there. 
chose uh, the entertainer as music and just pushed go. And what you saw is what came out. They do a, a great job. I can't wait to get home tonight and play with it some more. But anyways, we're giving away a one-year pro account on that. Now, we're still trying to cook up some devious ways to do that. Um, we're counting on Celeste, our, our redhead, to come up with some interesting um, methodology to these giveaways, but know that we will be having some fun with these starting next week. We'll announce the how and why 